guys are waiting for the speech. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> hungry. Anyways, I will start my presentation and I will finish my presentation as soon as possible. But as soon as possible. This is my index. Uh, this is the index. I will start from design background, design plan, manufacturing process, and uh, lastly, rendering posters and video. So, uh, first of all, design background. As, as previous presenters said before, uh, rails, uh, rails, <laughs> rails have existed for a long time in Ulsan, so it's like a, it's like a simple mechanical disease. So we, uh, I know, uh, if we, uh, if you make something like a rails, then it would contribute to promoting Ulsan. So we chose a rail, and also if if one element is uh, added, then it would be much interesting. So we chose that element. So. Uh, before, uh, have you ever heard about Kapong? <coughs> uh, actually, uh, even though I explain this, uh, you don't understand, so we uh, prepare a short video.
specially put uh, acrylic tube inside of them in order to maintain the distance. And thirdly, uh, fasten uh, skeletons to each group in upper mouth part and tail part. And first, attach a uh, lower mouth part on the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of upper mouth part by lightning tightening bolts. And fifth, uh, fix a supporting part by fastening a uh, supplementary part to groups and attach a uh, third motor. And lastly, put Arduino and substrate with photo cell and LED inside of inner uh, inner structure between supporting part and supplementary part. And so finally, uh, this is finished. So uh, in terms of testing and wiring, after assembling all sub uh, all sub assemblies, we tested their functionality separately through Arduino. If the light inside the mouth of the wheel is blocked by a hole, resistance would be increased like the graph below, so that is uh, that it reaches a uh, uh, certain value. Then it reacts to it and sends signal to kill the motor, a sub motor, and the LED. Accordingly, the wheel moves its body and emits light. So, uh, eight, cobbly appearance. Based on drawing, we cut the cross, and after that, we saw the edge of the cross and then fill it with cotton. So, this is our final our model and demonstration. As you can see, the picture is the left. Uh, as I said before, we, uh, we wanted to provide a kit, assembly kit. So, this is inner structure, uh, inner structure and this is the cobbly appearance. And the pictures on the right, uh, someone uh, tested. So he he drew a hole into the whale, then he the whale uh, closes its mouth and emits light, and then moving its body, and this is the evidence of lighting. <coughs> and so this is our uh, problematic situation. Actually, there are a lot of uh, problems from this of the representative problems. First. Uh, we were about to use force sensitive <coughs> resistor. It is a material whose resistance changes when a force or pressure is applied. However, it requires a certain amount of weight, but the hole we use is behind it. Uh, so uh, that is, it is not a perfect to use. So as an alternative, we determined to use photo cell. It is no uh, hold well to weight. Also, even small change in light affects the reason. So we judge that it is proper. And secondly, we plan to use sharp color in order to prevent, uh, in order to prevent movement to the nest. Unfortunately, it took quite a long time to deliver the component, so that we couldn't get the uh, component. So we replaced sharp color with absolutely two. So we learned how to cut it with those machines on the left pictures and cut it uh, following the distance uh, between two plates. Uh, lastly, uh, as you can see above, a regional internal structure <coughs> consisted of several gears and motors to operate each function. So it looked quite complicated and took up much room. However, in terms of geared motor, gear is located on the front part of it. It reduces the number of revolutions while it increases torque so that it is appropriate to move mouse and tail parts at the same time by making stronger power so it doesn't take up that much space. Also, it's slow uh, evolution to make it possible to move more gently and smoothly. So last the follow study. Uh, actually, through this uh, project, we could uh, learn more about this Arduino. Uh, it is a single board. Uh, it's a totally different explanation. It is a single board microcontroller intended to make the, make the application of interactive objects or environments more accessible. Uh, Arduino boards can be purchased pre assembled or as do it yourself DIY kits. We thought that it could be used later in a more useful way. So, this is our render file. And posters. So, I'm going to show you. Thank you. 